In this video, we're going to create a lighting position, place multiple lighting devices, then arrange the lights on the position. Let's start by using the lighting pipe tool from the spotlight tool set to create the geometry for our lighting position. Go to tools, then choose organization. Click on the design layers tab, click new, name the new design layer, light plot, and click OK. Click OK again. In the Spotlight tool set, activate the Lighting Pipe tool. Make sure the Corner Vertex mode is enabled in the toolbar. Click once on the right midpoint of the left interior column. Move your cursor to the right and double click on the left midpoint of the right interior column. In the Object Properties dialog, enter FOH for the location, uncheck Draw tick marks, and then click OK. Next, we will convert the lighting pipe into a lighting position using the Convert to Light Position command in the Spotlight menu. With the lighting pipe selected, go to the Spotlight menu, then down to Object Conversion, and choose Convert to Light Position. Name this position Main FOH and click OK. In the Did You Know dialog, Click Use Geometry. This will use the lighting pipe geometry for the lighting position. Switch to the Selection tool and use the control handle to move the main FOH label below the column. In the Object Info palette, set the Z height to 15 feet. Now we will use the Lighting Instrument tool from the Spotlight tool set to place a lighting device on the main FOH lighting position. Activate the Lighting Instrument tool in the Spotlight tool set. Click on the Instrument Symbol Resource thumbnail list in the toolbar. Under Default Content, select Instrument Symbols.VWX and choose the ETC Source 4 19 degree symbol. Move your cursor over the left side of the main FOH lighting position. Click once to set the insertion point and then click a second time to set the rotation and place the lighting device. Now let's go ahead and place a few more lighting devices on this position. Switch to the selection tool, then click and drag the lighting device to the right along the lighting position. Press the control key on Windows or the option key on Mac to create a duplicate of the lighting device, just to the right of the first lighting device. Repeat this action so that you have three devices on the left of the position and three on the right. Now activate the Lighting Instrument tool again. Click on the Instrument Symbol Resource Thumbnail list in the toolbar. Under Additional Content, select Lighting Martin, and then under Moving Lights, choose the Mac Aura symbol. Place two of these lighting devices in the middle of the main FOH position. Next, let's go ahead and use the Align and Distribute tool from the Spotlight tool set to arrange these lighting devices on our lighting position. First, select all of the lighting devices. Activate the Align and Distribute tool in the Spotlight tool set. Click once on the left end of the lighting position. Now move your cursor to the right end of the position and click a second time. In the Align and Distribute dialog, go ahead and choose Distribute and then Evenly Inside Points and click OK. The lighting devices will now be evenly spaced along our lighting position. Now that we have multiple lighting devices on our position, we're going to go ahead and use the Label Legend Manager command from the Spotlight menu to create a label legend for our devices. Go to Spotlight, then choose Label Legend, and Label Legend Manager. In the Label Legend Manager dialog, click the Add button. Name the label legend LL-1. Under Attributes, enable the following by clicking in the Use column to the left of the attribute name. Position, Color, and Focus. Click Choose under Lighting Instrument Layout Symbol and select Top Level under Symbol Folders. Then click on the Symbols thumbnail and choose the ETC Source 4 19 degree symbol. 
Click OK and then OK again. Click in the Active column to the left of LL-1 and make it the Active Label Legend. Now click on the Edit Layout button. Arrange the three labels around the instrument as shown. Click Exit Symbol. Now let's apply the LL-1 Label Legend to our devices. Select all of the lighting devices, then go to the Spotlight menu, and then choose Label Legend, and then Assign Legend to Instruments. Choose LL-1 and click OK. You will see the position label appears, uh, but the color and focus do not. This is because we have not set a color or a focus point for these devices yet. 